Boom shakalaka, huge Bitcoin move today. Why things are going to go crazy for Bitcoin and altcoins. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Lab. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts, including why things are about to go crazy for the entire crypto market. Before we get into things, guys, like the video, join us on Twitter through Crypto Love, and subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making daily videos since 2017. That's seven years, in case you couldn't do the math. The over on fear and greed index today, 56, jumping up dramatically from fear yesterday all the way to greed, skipped over neutral completely. The overall market up 5%. Today, Bitcoin at 64,368, Ethereum at 2774, BNB at 581, Solana 155, XRP 60 cents, Tuncoin 674, Dogecoin 11 cents, and Cardano 39 cents. Now, Bitcoin still continuing in the bull flag trend. So that being said, things haven't completely changed trajectory yet. But the breakout we were talking about by the beginning of September has happened. We do have September coming up, which we've been talking about historically being a huge month for Bitcoin based on the time since the halving. We have Q4 coming up, which should be huge for Bitcoin. And one indicator worth taking a note of, this blue line right here, the 21 EMA, when this crosses above the 100-day moving average, this green line right here, take a look what happened the last time. The last time, price went from 27 all the way up to $72,000. And the time before that, price went from 18000 to $31,000. So should this price continue upwards, particularly breaking out of this trend right now, it's sitting at $66,000, and we have a cross of the 21 EMA and the 100-day moving average, well, things could absolutely look spectacular for Bitcoin and altcoins. Right now, Bitcoin has just reclaimed the 200-day moving average and the recent dip below it seems to be a fake out. Historically, whenever Bitcoin has reclaimed the 200 day moving average, we've seen a nice upside rally. So another indicator to keep an eye out for this could be the most hated rally after a long time, 210 days of sideways price movement for Bitcoin, pretty much a dull summer for Bitcoin two years in a row. Well, we could have a rally coming not long after that. The strong signal that Bitcoin is back in bullish territory would be a golden cross between the MVRV ratio, this blue line right here, and the 365-day SMA, this yellow line right here. We are at the verge of a cross right now. The last time we saw one of those crosses, Bitcoin price went from $25 to $72,000. So a lot of charts looking pretty good for Bitcoin. Also, we have a MACD cross right here, breakout of a downtrend. All of these things suggest a large gain for Bitcoin, 18% gains each last time. This would put the target at roughly $68,000. So this may actually push us outside of the bull flag. And we would have to stay above there because, you know, 70,000-ish has been pretty hard resistance territory for Bitcoin so far. But we do have another flag on the Bollinger Band with profile signaling for a second time right here on the two-week chart. The last time we saw this, Bitcoin had a 200% upward move. We're seeing this once again. Bitcoin could be in for another very large move coming. Also, every time Bitcoin VIX has the volatility indicator has touched this line, we have seen a new all-time high. Well, guess what? We flagged this line once again when Bitcoin price went down to the $50,000 area. Could we see the next all-time high and how high Will that be? Actually, stay tuned. We have some nice price predictions coming up in the video. This rally actually may sustain itself because if we take a look at Bitcoin perpetual futures, they are negative right now. This is not what an over leveraged long bias to generate Bitcoin market looks like. This is a scared market with most of the leverage shaken out or broke. And now things could be about ready to turn around. Now, clearly not at levels seen at the absolute bottom. But for the first time in a while, it is not wildly in the green. Furthermore, this chart right here suggests that things are about to get very, very exciting. As a matter of fact, based on the Puel multiple support and resistance, we are entering levels where we are ready to begin the true bull run. Not the fake mid-cycle top bull run, but the actual true bull run is about to commence based on same levels we saw back here in 2021, 2017, and 2012. So things are looking like the next year and change could be 
monumental. As a matter of fact, October 2025, based on time alone. Now, we'll have to see if Bitcoin is completely 100% based on time, but we may have until October 2025, based on similarity between Bitcoin bottoms and tops until the next top for Bitcoin. And how high could we be going? Well, interestingly, the Bitcoin monthly bull flag has a price target of $100,000. How about that? Q4 could be wild, but that's not all because here's another one. Massive bull pennant right here. Target $178,000. And if you want a even bigger one, how about this multi-year trend line breaking out from a downward megaphone? Well, this could put Bitcoin at $335,000, a third of a million dollars per Bitcoin. And guess what? There's a fixed supply of Bitcoin. There is not a fixed supply of money. So mathematically, the price of Bitcoin will always go up with some fluctuations. That'll be painful because you'll buy the top and sell the bottom. But price is mathematically always going to go up. So that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, join us on Twitter, through Crypto Love, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.